Continuing coverage right now, 7 News reporter Molly Henderson live near Grant and Colfax at a local restaurant owned by Syrians. Molly, some strong feelings after the president's announcement today. Yeah, and some of those feelings and his son showed up to work to find this message written outside their restaurant. It says no more U.S. war. They call this message shocking, saying this basically sends the message, we will not help you. Now, earlier today, the KFOs were out here sending the message and encouraging the U.S. to intervene, saying it's long overdue. The KFOs say people in Syria have been living in fear for decades, and if the U.S. does not get involved, it's only a matter of time before more innocent people are killed. CAFOs say today's comments by the president gives them new hope. It's almost a glimmer of hope. It's not a fear factor. It's, it's, it's more of a, oh, this might be our, our chance. This might be our Libya. You know what I'm saying? When, when this, Libyans had that chance of, of having a, a no-fly zone, for example, they had a chance over the government. They had an upper hand, or not an upper hand, but they had a, a reasonable chance to overthrow their dictatorship. Same thing in Syria. It's just a glimmer of hope. And, of course, there are those like the people who wrote this message that feel that the U.S. should not get involved. We're told some of those people were protesting across the street earlier today. We'll have much more on this story tonight at 10. Reporting live in Denver, Molly Hendrickson, 7 News.